A beautiful day mga kapitbahay! Welcome to CSA Certified Skin Authority. This is Doc Tessa giving you updates on the science of skin care, aesthetic dermatology, anti-aging medicine, and laser technology. In today's episode, we will be talking about varicose veins. So what are varicose veins? What causes them? What are the risk factors? What are the symptoms and complications? And how do we treat them? So, ating pong sasagutin niyan sa ngayon, dito lamang sa CSA Certified Skin Authority. Certified Skin Authority. So, this is now ice compress on the injected area. 30 minutes and what to do. wanted to enhance in a way na gusto mo mag-lift siya, mag-angat, right? And then also sa may... So we have actually applied na yung namin cream on this side. Dito lang sa area of okay. the mouth. And then dito po, we assess. So you kind of clench. Okay. Hi, I'm Danica Zita. A young entrepreneur, I manage Vail Wedding Gallery and Class 8 Couture. Uh, I used to sponsor gown in pageant, so that's why I met Dr. Contessa Salvador Alapag during the pageant coronation in Pampanga. While Doc Contessa and I having a conversation, I mentioned to her that I'm having varicose vein problem. So, ininbitahan ako ni Doktora Contesa sa CSA Derm Center Clinic para ma-examine niya yung aking mga varicose vein and to cure it. And then, we find out na severe na sila. So, kahit ayokong ma-experience yung mga injections, I have to do it para din sa sarili ko. First thing, kaya gusto kong mawala yung aking mga varicose vein para maging confident ako na magsuot ng shorts and mga dresses, short dresses. I usually wear mga long pants, mga maxi dress, which is very long dress kasi I'm not confident sa aking mga legs because of my varicose vein problem. So, nagbabalik po ang CSA mga kapitbahay. Atin pong pinag-uusapan ang patungkol sa mga varicose veins. Right now po, meron tayong isang special guest. Siya po ang nagmamayari ng Veil Wedding Gallery. And she is Miss Danica Zita. Welcome, Danica. Hi! Thank you for having me here, Dr. Tessa. Thank you so much. Of course. It is our pleasure to have you here. Si Miss Danica po kasi, actually you have shared something a while ago, di ba? Yeah. Meron kasi siyang concern nga on the varicose veins. But before we talk about that, Danica, yes, you tell naman our kapitbahay. Na. <laughs> okay, you tell naman, or you share something about yourself. Di ba? So, ano, single, married, how young, like that? I'm 25 and a young entrepreneur. I manage Veil Wedding Gallery, uh, wedding wow. supplier, and Class 8 Couture. It's a yeah. general gown. We have also for men now. Mm -hmm. Because last time, wala kaming for men, all for women. So, ngayon, meron na kaming mga suits and barong. Wow. That's what I'm doing now. Parang sa market, yan yung dumalakas na business din, no? Yes. Ngayon. And may peak months yata ang business Our peak na months is around September to okay. May. So, pagdating ng June hanggang August, medyo Sinil. lean season kami. Ah, okay. So, parang yeah. Christmas time din, marami ang wedding. Yes. Diba June ang pinakamarami? Ang bride month? June. Wedding month. 
June usually. Mga no? mid ng June, medyo rain season mm. na. Kasi rainy season na. So, rainy season laging na. busy during that time, no? So, uh, could you tell a little bit more about your... A little bit lang, personal life. Married na ba? Personal life. <laughs> Konti lang. Uh, yes, I'm committed. Wow. I thought you're single, ah. You look so young kasi talaga, eh. I'm committed 25, na. yes. Oh. And... Kailan ba? Soon. Parang hindi ko yata alam yan, na Hindi ako na-invite. Anyways. Soon. <laughs> Soon? So, future pa. May plan Yes. Pa ah, okay. Excited. Medyo, okay. ano ako kasi sa personal life ko, eh. Very private, ah, so... Okay. <laughs> so, kailangan mga kapit by private daw. Anyways, so yung yung daily activities mo. So yung daily activities ko lang after preparation sa bahay, sa shop na I used to stand ng mga minsan isang oras. Mm -hmm. So I usually So your kind of ano uh, work. Yes. So andun yung component na prolonged standing. Since pinag-uusapan po natin all about varicose veins nga. Kasi ang mga varicose veins, these are enlarged veins. Pwede ring twisted veins found beneath the skin kasi yan eh. Mm -hmm. So, nagiging obvious yan, especially among women eh. Di ba nagiging conscious ang mga girls? They could not wear mga shorts, shorts. di ba? Mga dresses. Yes. Especially kung yung mga veins, ano na eh, sobrang visible na tapos napaka-twisted mm -hmm. na or bulge na, di ba? Especially Yun. pag sobrang liwanag pag sunlight, direct sunlight super visible talaga. Yeah. Na-mention mo kasi kanina yung prolonged standing. Kasi isang cause ng development ng varicose veins, yung ang prolonged standing, prolonged sitting, mm -hmm. yun. Kasi yung nangyayari, so matagal kang nakatayo, tapos, and no movement, so yung blood nag stay dun sa lower extremities natin. So nag-build up ng pressure po, nag stay dun sa mga veins. So, uh, hirap yung flow upwards, so, nakikita mo, nag enlarge na lang yung mga varicose veins. I think, may tanong ka kanina eh. So, Doc, yung question ko, is it true na namamana ito? Yes. Actually, there is a genetic predisposition doon sa development ng varicosity. So, malalaman mo na lamang yan na, ah, si mom pala niya, meron. Ang tita, meron. Mm. Ang mga sisters, meron ding varicose veins. I always say no na mom, tita, sisters kasi being female is a predisposing factor to the development of varicose veins. Pero meron ding mga males. Male. I have patients na nagde-develop male patients who develop varicose veins. Mostly mga ano, yung mga seamen, mm. mga seamen. I always have that case. Another cause is pregnancy. So, when you become pregnant, so in the future, you're planning pregnancy, yes. diba? That is also another predisposing factor. So, meron ding hormonal aspect. So, ayan, genetics, prolonged standing, yung lifestyle mo, tapos yung, ano ba yung sinabi ko, too pregnancy, much, much hormonal. Walking. Yes. While wearing well, heels. Uh, too much walking, it's not really the one that can cause it. Diba? Take note, kasi ang mga varicose veins, these are superficial veins, unwanted superficial veins. Hindi sila necessary. Okay? Um, ang problem dito is mer kung meron ng mga symptoms. Yun yung mga iba, meron ng pain, tenderness, the legs. But uh, in some cases, walang symptoms. Ang concern lang nila kasi yung appearance ng legs. Oh, oh. Diba? Yun yung main concern. Um, another cause kasi, kung merong mga medical conditions, like for example, uh, any liver disease, heart problem, yan, or mga peripheral vascular diseases, medyo medical na po yun. So, pwedeng mag-cause din ng development ng varicose veins. Diba? So, ang dami palang mga causes din pala. No? Aside from genetics, lifestyle, Pwedeng acquired, pwedeng kung meron kang medical illness, or pwedeng merong mga medications. So, yan ang mga possible causes. So, atin naman alamin mga kapitbahay, ano po ba ang mga symptoms ng pagkakaroon ng varicose veins? So, yung ba, Danica? Ano ba yung mga nararamdaman mo? So far, wala namang any pain, Doc. Okay. Ako nararamdaman, no? 
ang um, concern ko lang talaga yung appearance nila especially okay. air, pag morning mm-hmm. sunlight direct sunlight super visible talaga sila so i don't have the confidence na magsuot ng short mga dresses shorts. mga shorts lagi akong mm-hmm. long dresses and pants so it's more yung concern mo yung appearance yes. nila na nagbabulge na sila very prominent na sila so parang unsightly yun ang yung ano complaint well other symptoms kasi meron yung mga iba kina complain nila na kumikirot daw especially pag malamig pag malamig so there's pain uh, there's tenderness yung iba naman swelling may namamaga oh. so leg swelling okay uh, yung iba doon sa feet area or Severe sa ankle area merong swelling yan yung iba heaviness or feeling of tiredness meron yung mga iba burning Meron din yung iba sa skin nila may itchiness. So those are some of the the symptoms. By the way nga pala naalala ko, doon sa cause ng varicose veins, isa rin diyan yung pagiging overweight or obese. Oo. Kasi daw yung pagiging obese or overweight, syempre mas marami yung mga fat, di ba? Yes. Less of the muscles. Um yung mga blood vessels kasi like if our muscles keep on contracting, nakakatulong kasi yan dun sa blood flow, sa circulation natin. So take note yung mga obese, overweight, tsaka yung sobrang bigat nila, nagbibuild up yung pressure sa lower extremities. Kaya kailangan talaga mag-lose ng weight kung overweight or obese. Para mag-flow diba? yung... But in your case naman, you are ano eh, you have that desirable body weight. O diba? Slim na slim, sexy na sexy si Miss Danica. <laughs> So okay, we go back to the symptoms nga. May mga ibang cases naman na nagde-develop na ng mga uh, complications, no? Ang mga possible complications po kasi blood clots. Di ba? Wala bang nagbanggit sa iyo na or parang may sinabi na parang nangyari na hindi I have friend doc, no? Na nasabi niya sa akin na matay yung mother niya because oh. of varicose vein. Is that okay. true na nakakamatay? Okay, baka kasi merong medical condition ang mom niya. Okay, nabanggit ko kanina yung may mga liver disease or yung may mga uh, cardiac problem or heart disease o kaya yung mga peripheral vascular diseases. Yan, baka naman naging complications. Or yung tinatawag nila, yun nga yung mga blockage sa mga blood vessels po kasi. Um, kung ang cause ng varicose veins niya, yung mga tinatawag na merong nagbablock, dun sa mga deep veins, yes. yung mga inner veins na, nagdi-develop ng blood clots, yun yung tinatawag namin thrombosis. Tapos yung clot na yun, baka ma-dislodge and mag-circulate, pumunta sa upper part ng body natin. Pwede kasi pumunta sa lungs. Yung tinatawag na namin pulmonary embolism. So, yun yung mga possible complications. Parang nakakatakot oh, mga kapit ba? Nakakatakot no? pala. So, kailangan oh. na natin i-cure yung sa akin <laughs> on my case. Yun po yung mga complications. Hindi naman natin sinasabi na ano yung talagang nangyayari. But these are rare complications po. Although, sinasabi natin na ang ang varicose veins para namang parang hindi naman siya ganun nuisance or hindi naman talaga problem but then we just have to prevent mga serious complications po so sa ngayon po mga kapitbahay we'll post muna for a break sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority And we are now on the medical assessment part of the varicose vein problem. So, sa part po na ito, ang aming ginagawa ay kumukuha kami ng history, ng, ng background ng ating client, of course. And since a while ago, we already had discussion kanina, di ba? Ano ba yung mga nag-post nito? Bakit nagkaroon ng ganyan? Tapos, tinatanungin natin, ano ba yung mga medications mo? Ano ba yung mga past histories mo? Did you have any hospitalizations? Any history of allergies? Etc. So, kailangan alam natin ng iyong medical conditions. no? Para po, okay, ma-prevent natin ng anumang mga contraindications at ang mga possible side effects. Isa nga palang idadagdag ko, we usually advise then ang ating mga clients to avoid ang pag-take ng mga vitamin E oral. No? Vitamin E o kaya yung mga aspirins or yung mga ibuprofen, anticoagulants, pati rin yung mga, ano, yung mga fish liver oil, yan, yung mga omega-3, omega-6. Kasi prone ka sa bruisability or yung madaling magpasa. 
So, iniiwasan po natin yan. Kasi isa natin ina-expect when we do varicose vein treatment, like if we make use of sclerotherapy, that's injection kasi ng tiny needles, meron din po kasi mga nagpapasa. Meron din na mga, mga hindi. Okay. So, sa part na ito, we check on yung mga problems natin sa lower legs. Okay. So, kay Miss Danica po, uh, we have problem po sa thigh areas na rin. So, visible po yung mga reticular veins na, na napaka malaki. And may na kita po akong mga bulges this part po. Especially when you're standing up eh. They're so yes. prominent eh. So, combination, meron siyang reticular veins. Yung nakikita natin na bluish greenish na color. Meron din naman makikita yung parang purplish to reddish. So, the leg length, the full leg length, talagang meron po. Pati sa ankle area, meron. Mga spider veins, telangiectasias, purplish, reddish color, bluish, greenish color po. So, yan ang assessment natin. Imagine, both lower extremities, may problem tayo. Pati, so, the left leg, sa so right lower extremity din po, so marami din talaga tayong mga telangiectasias. Dito rin, napaka-prominent. Okay, so, much more of the leg dito sa left part yes. ang problem, di ba? But, asymptomatic. Wala ka pang mga nararamdaman na mga pagkikirot or any pain. Hindi nagkakaroon ng swelling ng legs. Okay, so... Minsan lang, Doc, uh, heaviness. Ayun. Oh, Sang so, symptomatic na. Heaviness, tiredness. One way, one ano pa pala, complication, kasi we have cases ng mga varicose veins, naglilid na sa mga skin conditions na nagkakaroon ng mga sores or ulcerations, lalo na yung mga masyado ng wide or dilated yung mga varicose veins, lalo yung mga malalaki na, very dilated na, luminipis yung lining ng skin. So may skin thinning din na pwedeng maging problem, tapos itchiness ng skin, Tapos, pwedeng mag sa mga ulcerations, pwedeng mag sa mga sores. So, another problem yun. So, yung iba, nagka-cramps na daw, di ba? So, yun ang mga pwedeng ma-expect na mga symptoms. Ang, I think you're asking or you're wondering, ano po kaya ang treatment? Yes, I would diba? like to ask, Doc, kung ano yung effective treatment. Pero by the way, matanong ko pala, prior to consulting me with this one, kasi medyo matagal mo ng problem yan, since yes. college days. Yes. Okay, so have you done any uh, remedy, home remedy, para matrit ang mga varicose veins? I nag home remedy ako for many times, yes. yung mga herbal cream. Okay. So herbal cream, ihalo mo sa lotion, then okay. massage mo upward massage, massage. for a few months. Okay. I've done it many times, pero still parang parang mas lumala pa nga sila yeah. dumami. So, those are not effective home remedy anymore. So, here at CSA po, ang aming major treatment for varicose vein is the so-called sclerotherapy. Okay? Pag sinabi kasing sclero, you sclerose, you collapse the vein. So, you have to um, make the vein go away, disappear, fade. So, it is in the form of tiny injections. So, tiny needles lang tayo. Okay. Kasi you may be wondering, ano kaya ang mararamdaman ko during the treatment, di ba? Yes. Oo. So, some of the patients namin, parang okay lang. They have no sensation. Pero the others, they are uh, reporting na mild discomfort. Meron namang iba nagsasabi parang mosquito bite or insect bite. Insect bite. Or yung iba naman parang stinging or burning sensation. Very tolerable naman. Matotolerate naman. So this procedure, very easily administered, it's a quick treatment, and actually what we do here is we divide it into sessions. Okay. So no need to do it one time, so we may start with few muna na medicines, yung sclerosing solution. So wag natin bibiglain, especially this is your first time. So pag mga first timers po, we start muna with few ml ng sclerosing agent. So, probably we could start the treatment right now. So, ating ipakita sa ating mga kapitbahay ang sclerotherapy sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. So, we are now on the sclerotherapy. Okay, we're gonna push this. Take a deep breath, ma'am. Inhale and exhale. So, 
So we started with 1ml syringe of the Sclerodex. And you can already notice the gradual disappearance of the varicose vein. Just take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. And you can have a dry cotton piece. So that's just half of the 5 ml syringe. Okay. So can I have for one more syringe please? Sorry ma'am. You just have to relax, inhale, exhale. We'll push again another varicose vein here. So this is a very prominent one. So we tilt the leg muna po sideways. Thank you ma'am. Inhale, exhale. So pushing the medicine. So gradually po, we can see na nagdi-disappear na po yung ating mga varicose veins po. Just inhale, exhale, ma'am. Sometimes the position of our patients to make them stand up. Although, this one kasi dial visible naman siya kahit nakahiga. So, it's okay to do this lying down po. So, gradually, nananotice na natin na nagdi-disappear yung ating varicose vein. So, that's uh, 1 ml for that one. So, we do press on the vein para po mag-stop na yung flow ng blood. So, we can have another 1 ml, please. Sorry, ma'am. It's tolerable po. Thank you. Very tolerable naman po. Inhale, exhale. Nakakita po tayo ng mga backflow ng dugo. So, it means to say nasa loob tayo ng vein. So, I am actually injecting another 1 ml of the Sclerodex. So, we can already see a gradual disappearance of the varicose vein. Cotton, please. So, that's already a 2.5 ml ng ating sclerosing solution. Okay. So, we'll have our patient rest for a while. Okay. So, we can notice already a gradual disappearance ng mga prominent na mga varicosities po. So, tolerable. Our client is comfortable. So, we press on this. Okay. So, little by little, you can see. It's disappearing already, right? So, nagpo-flow na po yung ating gamot doon sa mga branches or tributaries ng ating varicose veins. So, we can do like a one session muna. Then, we have our patient come back after one week to do the other varicose veins. I usually start with one extremity. Then, when she comes back, I will be doing the other extremity po. So, it's more of a conservative approach. Okay. I think I still have a 0.5 ml. So, I can start actually with, pag first timer po, I may start with 3 ml or 4 ml po. So, I can still inject. I still have a 0.5 ml here. So, looking at this one right now, injecting. Okay, take a deep breath, ma'am. Inhale and exhale. So, there's a backflow. I can now push the medicine back. So, gradually, this will also flow into the small or smaller veins. Yung mga branches niya po. Okay. So, our patient is feeling some something flowing through the veins. Gumagapang na po yan dun sa mga branches niya po. So, as the days pass by, napapansin na lang po ng ating pasyente na 
little by little nawawala even yung mga spider veins even yung mga liit-liit po na veins nagdi-disappear po like in a month nakikita niya pang nawawala so we usually ask them to come back after one week for a follow up now after po ng injection ng sclerotherapy or the sclerotherapy procedure we wrap the extremity with an elastic bandage we make use of a velcro bandage it will help in the improvement. It will also help in preventing the further flow of blood. So this is one technique po, one therapy, which is called compression therapy for the varicose veins. So mag-stop na po yung pag-flow ng ating dugo through those veins again. So Ma'am Danica, you can notice already na wala na po yung mga visible varicose veins. We just want treatment. So we can see an immediate result after the first session of Sclerotherapy. Well, ang ating mga televiewers probably are also wondering, meron pa bang mga ibang mga solusyon or home remedy na pwede nating gawin? Probably, Danica here is also wondering what is the after treatment o ano ba yung ina-advise namin pagkatapos ng sclerotherapy. Well, we have a form here or like a brochure that we give to every patient of ours. It's all about sclerotherapy. So we have them read on scl about sclerotherapy. So narito po ang mga informations patungkol sa ano po ba ang sclerotherapy, ano po ba ang expect nila during the procedure, how long is the procedure, how effective is the procedure, tsaka ano po ba yung possible na side effects from the procedures, right? So, we advise them, you may expect Danica, some, yung iba po kasi nagbo-bruise or nagpapasa. Okay? Yung iba naman, yung sensation na parang merong burning or tenderness or pain, yun. Expected po yun. Okay? But that will also go away. That's very, very temporary po. So, we, that's why we advise our patients to come back after a week for a follow-up then. So, here also you can... Learn some information after po ng sclerotherapy. What do we advise you? Um, after this one, to relieve you of the pain, you have to do a 10-minute brisk walk. So, maglalakad po ng mabilis. Okay? Kasi yung contraction ng muscles will help in squeezing the blood vessels. So, yung blood flow mo babalik upwards. So, nakakatulong sa pag-prevent ng pag-flow ulit ng dugo dun sa mga varicose veins. And another thing is yung varicose vein um, compression stockings or compression bandage this will also help you have to leave this compression bandage for the first 24 hours and then after that for seven consecutive nights lagi siyang naka bandage okay so seven consecutive nights then it will also help to always elevate your legs always elevate your legs and well i advise my patients to do walking exercises as I've mentioned, contraction of the muscles can squeeze the blood vessels. So, it will help in further improvement. So, napapansin mo as the days pass by, lalo pang nawawala yung mga spider veins or yung mga branches ng varicose veins. So, yun po mga kapit bahay. So, kung meron po kayong mga katanungan patungkol po sa ating naging topic sa araw na ito, maaari nyo po kaming... Um, I-email sa csaskinclinic at yahoo.com Meron po kaming mga contact numbers na naka-flash sa inyong screen. Ang aming pong clinic ay matatagpuan dito sa second floor ng Pure Gold Dao Building, the U MacArthur Highway, Mabalakat City, Pampanga. So, ito po ang CSA Derm Centre. At meron din po kaming fanpage, csadermcentre.org or meron kaming Instagram at csadermcentre. So, si Ma'am Danica here. So, Ma'am Danica, you may already face our televiewers. Okay, Miss Danica, so you may want to say something para sa ating mga kasese. So, ito po, si Miss Danica ang may nagmamayari ng Veil Wedding Gallery. So, atin namang ipromote ang iyong shop. Again, thank you so much, Doc Tessa, for having me here. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And for those who are looking for bridal gown or any gown suit sa mga wedding, ay a wedding supplier. So, gusto ko po kayong imbitahan na bumisita sa aking boutique na matatagpuan sa number 35 
Second floor, Plaridel Square, Plaridel Street, Santo Rosario, Angeles City, Pampanga. And you can contact us at 091-5128-2288. And we have also like page. You can search Veil Wedding Gallery sa Facebook. Yes! So and I would like to thank you, Danica, for my outfit. She's the one providing me my outfit, mga ka-CSA. And also for Miss Mariah Kamaya Santos for my hair and makeup together with Arvin Santos. Thank you very much. Sila din ang nagpapaganda sa ating looks. very beautiful look. doctor. Exactly. Kaya ayan, mga ka-CSA, na why meron na naman po kayong natutunan sa aming episode on varicose vein. So, ano ba po ang ginagawa ninyo? Bumisita na kayo dito sa CSA Derm Center, Pure Gold Dau, MacArthur Highway, Mabalakad, Pampanga. At pwedeng-pwede kayong mag-consult sa amin kasi ang consultation namin sa mga aesthetics po, free. Actually, wow. pag mga aesthetic concerns like varicose veins, we give free consultation. So, malaki nang matitipid ng mga ka-CSA dahil libre-libre yes. ang consultation, consultation. ni yes. doctor. And yung aming treatment po, we just base kung ano yung amount ng gamot na nagamit natin for this kind of treatment. So, mga ka-CSA, when it comes to your skin care, you may trust the CSA Certified Skin Authority. So, thank you very much for watching our episode. God bless you all. See you again next week. Bye! Bye-bye!